people today's message or thought for today is my hat is dirty right, let's take that off that looks a little crazy <laughs> today's thought or message for today is know and help out your neighbors so um so some of you may not know uh, so if you want my personal timeline so you know this Yesterday, I actually got out of, out of my car and my phone went flying into the air and it fell in a storm drain in the sewer. And I was so, 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 so upset. I was so angry. And when Brooke got in, she was, you know, we tried to call around. The county wasn't coming out to do it. Uh, the water uh, service people weren't coming out to do it. And so Brooke was like, you know, call one of your neighbors. So I called one to see if he had a crowbar so we could try to get the sewer open. Um, I didn't even really want to do it. I was just going to chalk it up and buy a new phone. Um, so we called. He didn't have it. He's like, you know, try somebody else. And I ended up trying my upstairs neighbor who was super excited to help me, by the way. Um, you know, I'm cordial with my neighbors. We don't necessarily have, you know, deep relationships. Um, you know, I know them, we speak, stuff like that, but it's not like we're over for each other's house for dinner or, or holidays or anything like that. But you know, definitely cordial with them, but he was super excited to help. So as we tried to open up this manhole cover, <laughs> one of his crowbars goes flying in the sewer and he's like, don't worry about it. We're definitely gonna get this phone out. Um, and I was just kind of taken aback by that because, you know, society and the way America seems now is, is, is like you know we have to pull ourselves up by our own bootstraps so you know I've been in situations where you ask for help and people will either ignore you or or they'll just give you the tools and be like hey do it yourself but this guy was super super eager to help and as you can see based on me recording this video I was actually able to get my phone out so the thought and the message for today is know your neighbor and don't ignore people who are actually in help. I truly believe that if we had the passion and the desire to help like my upstairs neighbor, Kenneth, that we could make a world of a difference. We could make an impact in people's lives. Uh, we could spread positivity. We could spread peace. And that's what God wants us to do anyway. We don't, there's no reason for us to be here not speaking to each other when we walk down the street there's no reason for us to be here when somebody you know asks us for food or, or anything like that if they're hungry there's no need for us not to provide um so i would just beg that you listen to this story and be inspired to help people out because you never know when you'll need that same help as well and even if you never need that same help you know for those of us who have and who are privileged we have a responsibility to help those other people out. So I don't subscribe to that pull yourself up by your own bootstrap stuff. Um, that's not biblical. So that is it. Peace and blessings. Hope you all have a good day. Once again, my name is Terrell Harris. If you're on Facebook, be sure to like our page. Kind of noisy. <laughs> Visit theopenbox.com for more messages like this. And if you're on Twitter, be sure to retweet this message. Peace and blessings. You guys have a good one.